This is a periodic table. It is split into many rows and columns called periods and groups. The group number corresponds to the number of electrons in the outer shell and the period number corresponds to the number of shells of electrons. They are all arranged in order of increasing atomic number so that they can be easily identified. If you know what an element in a group is like, you can make predictions about other elements in that same group. For example, all the elements in group 1 are highly reactive. The metals take up most of the periodic table and are situated on the left and in the middle. The non-metals are located on the far right. Hydrogen is also a non-metals but is often put in the middle or at the top. There is also a section in the middle of the table called the transition metals. Most transition metals have the following physical properties. They are hard, strong, good conductors of heat and electricity and have high melting and boiling points. Mercury is an exception as it is a liquid at room temperature. The metals in group 1 are called alkali metals. They react rapidly with water to produce an alkaline solution plus hydrogen gas. The metals become more reactive as you go further down the group. The non-metals in group 7 are called halogens. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is a liquid and iodine is a solid at room temperature. As you go down the group, they become less reactive. Iodine is unusual as it undergoes sublimation. The nonmetals in group 0 are called noble gases. They are very unreactive and exist as individual atoms. This is group 2. They are also commonly known as the alkaline earth metals.